On the 15th of June, I gave a prophecy that I saw a big funeral in a big church. And some of the naysayers thought that I was bluffing, but I had seen a vision on that particular day, the morning, and I saw a coffin of the old man, and I saw his wife crying, and I saw everyone crying, and it dawned on me that the man was about to depart. The other people who have given prophecies, like Passion Java has given the prophecy, uh, Melontic Horace has given the prophecy. That one of Passion Java was more direct. Mine was not direct because I have some links and I've got some friends in the church of Sarajevo Forward in Faith. However, it is said that the man is gone. I couldn't get a chance to see him, which I do not regret. I was hoping to have an opportunity to tell him about the true gospel that I have encountered which is a pity, of course, but to those that are in Zahir Jafuad in faith and to the people that hold him in a high regard who are sort of his spiritual sons, yes, it's a loss to you. I know it feels hard and some of you, you wanted him to live longer, but I foresee the, the chaos that might ensue because of the issue of succession plan. I made a video in 2019 talking about that and I'm not trying to be a prophet of doom, but having known the structures and having known the fights and the talks that I have with people that are inside the church, for me or for them that are in there, they know that there could be a recipe for disaster. But I don't know what will happen in the next few weeks, in the next few months, in the next few years. Will the church continue after Ezekiel Guti is gone? Love to hear from you and your thoughts in the comment section.